attempt to finish a car route route. But first, we're going to take a trip to the Italy town of Ashburn and see a bunch of real good sports. That's right. Ah! April Fools! <laughs> I'm in the interlake town of Ashern. Up here, there's a real community camaraderie and a strong sense of competition when it comes to sports. There's teams like the Cobras, the Wildcats, the Raiders, the Farmerettes, and of course, the Ashburn Hornets. When there's a big game in town, you're guaranteed to have a solid crowd show up to socialize and cheer on the home team. Oh, well, I gotta tell you, a big game in town tonight, sports fans. Uh, you can almost, you can almost smell the feel in the air, and you can almost feel the smell in the air. Maybe it was just the bus, I'm not too sure, but the whole burg. This burg, I gotta tell you, is just a buzzing and a booming with excitement. Why? Because the Ashburn Hornets are pitting their pucks against a... A modest group of athletes from Winnipeg. Who? The Big Blue. <laughs> Playoffs. You heard me right, gang. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers have arrived. Not only are they one of the best football teams in the world, they also have a basketball team and a volleyball team. But tonight, these Spartans of sports put on a different uniform and become the Blue Bomber La Bats hockey team. <laughs> you like coming out here? The whole premise is to come out and have fun and play the game and, and meet a lot of people. And a lot of people are Blue Bomber fans, they're supporters of our club, and it, it really works out good for us all during the offseason. I think it's great. I think you come out to the communities, you meet a lot of people, and uh, you help them raise money for the things they really need, so you get a good feeling for them. Figure there's a future for you on the ice? There's a, there's a, a future for me on the ice, but I believe it's curling. <laughs> Pigskins to pucks, these bombers have tackled hockey teams from Thompson, the Paw, Red Lake, and Rivers. In fact, all over Northwest Ontario and Manitoba. An average of a thousand hearty fans come out to games like this one that usually last about two hours. They play old-timers rules. No body contact, no slap shots. It's just good fun and for a good cause. In this case, funds raised today will go toward getting artificial ice for the Ashburn Arena. What do you think of the uh, Bombers coming out and playing with you folks here tonight? I think it was really nice. I'm not from town. I'm uh, about uh, 100 miles away from here. And uh, I, really, I appreciate uh, people like this coming out and doing something for small communities. I think it's really uh, something to uh, look at. It's really good for the community. You can see the crowd we have here tonight. And uh, the kids are enjoying it. And I think the Bombers are enjoying the hospitality that we're trying to uh, give them. Do you have any uh, favorite Bombers? Trevor Kenner. Um, Chris Wallaby. Kind of sort of the long and the short of it, huh? <laughs> the Bombers raised seventy-five to hundred thousand dollars in the off-season with games like these. The money helps projects for service clubs, scholarship funds, and community arenas. Since they began, they've helped raise over six hundred thousand dollars. The Blue Bombers have become the envy of the Canadian League because of this program, and even the NFL has inquired about its success. Standing in the, uh, the Winnipeg bench with Ray Corchiello, the director of corporate marketing for the Winnipeg Football Club. Ray, I want you to tell me how this whole thing began. Well, back in 1980, we were uh, probably guilty of, at least the people felt that uh, we had died in, um, in uh, November. I woke up in May, meaning that we were not very active in the wintertime. So we put together a hockey team, a volleyball, a broomball team, and started uh, playing benefit games in Manitoba since we are Manitoba team, not necessarily Winnipeg. What do you like about these guys coming out and playing with you guys? It's really good for the community because uh, if all of these people showed up for uh, our home games, we'd make a lot more money. So this is really good for the artificial ice. We noticed that you were getting beaten up a little by Buzz. How'd that make you feel all over the place? Oh, it's kind of embarrassing, that little wimp. I want a rematch. Right at center ace. Well, you'll probably get one. How's the hockey game going? How do you feel about it? Oh, not too bad. It's pretty good. A lot of fans, at least. Oh, it looks like you just lost him again. You better get him a shot. the game was
wasn't enough for the Bombers, they're the kind of guys who'll even give the shirts off their backs to their fans. Actually, they're auctioned off. Last year, four of their jerseys brought in a bonus of $1,800. It doesn't matter whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game. The Bombers played not bad, they lost the game, but they did win the hearts and respect of the Asher and fans who came out to see the guys help raise close to $7,000 for artificial ice for the Asher and Arena. Come out to you sometime, okay? We'll be glad to show you around, all right? Good entertainment, thank you. Who knows? Maybe the Asher and Hornets can come to Winnipeg sometime and help the Blue Bombers raise enough money so they can buy artificial turf for the stadium. Well, it's dinner time for the team over at the school gym, and then it's party time at a social put on by the Ashburn Arena Artificial Ice Committee. And I'm a happy guy because I bought one of the jerseys worn by the only Icelandic member of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Well, gotta go. Soup's on.